Okay. And while we're talking about the the uh, on the subject, because we're gonna get to the BET nominations here in a minute, because I know y'all want to hear about that. But there was an ad on, well, not an ad, but it was a blog that was posted up, and they took it down because it was so controversial, on uh, Psychology Today. And I, I don't have that pulled up. I think it's already taken down anyway. But it was just talking about how this woman, and I, it's not like she had an African name, talking about black women are viewed as, the most unattractive women on earth. Now, I know you about ready to go off, Deandra. <laughs> Say that. Hold on. I didn't hear you. Say that one more time. She had a blog talking about how, like, like different women, about, about different races of women and how they're viewed in the world and how um, she, and she was talking about how black women are viewed as unattractive, some of the most unattractive and this, that, and the other, and blah, they scoop that, and the other, and it just, and this ad by this lady, and I don't even have, oh, goodness, I, I wish I was more more prepared for this one, but it just, it just really ticks me off, and this woman, she, she had, like, a name, it's not like a really ethnic name, it's not like an African name, but for her to, to get on there and to run her mouth and, 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 and write a blog like that is just very disgusting and despicable. You know, of course, an African would say that because she's probably black as hell and looking like probably looking like a monkey, and so she can't <coughs> call the American black women because we all have long hair better than hers, and it ain't nappy. So she may. And, and, and I just, I just wonder, like, why are they like that? Like, why do they hate hate on African American women so much? Because we don't eat monkey balls and we don't drink monkey blood, so. We don't eat raw fish. <laughs> uh, and we don't put on wigs with our kitchen showing all rolled up in the back either and beat it beat up. So. Yeah. And we don't wear we don't wear thong sandals with our toes all ashy and beat the hell up. You know you need a medicare, a pedicure, girl. You medical plan. Yeah, but they said that it just that article was just so outrageous that they just took it down. And someone put up, you know, you know, an article kind of acting and talking about how black women are beautiful, how we should have self esteem. Well, not we, because I ain't know. Mm. But I'm just saying, like, how the black women should have, a, you know, respect and have more. <laughs> Self-proud about themselves, you know. She, she was just mad because we ain't gotta go out and kill our prey <laughs> and cook it on a uh, campfire. <laughs> Whatever. Girl, I'm telling you. And you know, I just don't understand why they like that. And they just turn their nose down at African Americans and like, girl, we first of all, we weren't the ones that. So you sold us into slavery. You sold us out. So why why are you sitting up here with an attitude towards us, and then you want to come over here and be disrespectful and talk about the United States and talking about um, black women and black people this and black people that, and this is how we do I know this one now, and I'm not going to even get into it. But she just really thinks she is just all that. And, you know, and she just tries to crack jokes on blacks all the time but my thing is, like you said, come on now. We are civilized. You're not. Why you trying to make it seem like we're nothing? Yeah. Girl, mm-hmm. I just, I, ooh. It just she makes was mad because so we don't run in the jungle without our shoes on. Mm. And we do not climb a tree and hang from it like a monkey. Oh Lord Jesus! Let me stop for they get on that. Let me stop for they get on me. <laughs> but yeah. that was just—I mean, what they gonna say? She, she, man, cause she's gonna like they this. Gonna, they gonna take some damn chicken bones and, and, and cast a spell on you or something, girl. 
She might. So we got another caller. We got another caller, 294. 294, do you have a question or a comment? No, just I'm just listening. listening. Cause right, right now, uh, I don't know if you have anything to say. We're talking about um, images and black women, and just talking about how a lot of like art, like a lot. There was an article that was out, like saying how black women are viewed as some of the most unattractive in the world, and it's and it's a shame because the woman, I believe, she had an African name, and it just it's just really sad how we are put out here. As blacks in general, how we are just viewed, and we have low self esteem through images in the media. Do you have anything to say about that, or are you just you just absorbing what we're talking about at the moment? Um, I'll just listen for a little while. I'll chime okay. in. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you for listening. But uh-huh. it's, it's just it's really it's really devastating that we have to you know be su- subjected to that, and it and it gets back to. Like I was watching um, this lady on YouTube, and girl, you I know you gonna love this com- conversation. We are gonna get back to entertainment in a minute because we got a, we got a lot to talk about. But I was watching this lady on YouTube today, and she was talking about how you know she's trying to do the natural thing, you know, trying to do grow her hair out naturally. You know, she you know she said because she got tired of putting chemicals in her hair, and she really tried to embrace her her natural natural beauty. And, you know, she said a lot of people have been giving her good advice on YouTube, and a lot of people have been kind of supportive. But she says there's some of these, these Africans or these so-called people that are so, uh, they, they, they're conscious, and they're coming after her talking about, girl, why are you wearing this makeup? I said, you halfway there and pretty much saying because she's still wearing makeup, that makes her less black. You know what I'm saying? Or that makes her less conscious. Uh, she says, you know, it's just it's just sickening how some people try to define you by what you wear because there's a whole lot of people that claim to be all natural and conscious. They're some of the most evil, vindictive people. They want to mm-hmm. judge you. Mm-hmm. You know, I just, I just I don't like that. You know, and, and then we want to we sit around talk about how you know white people discriminate against us. No, it's not them. Nine times out of ten, we're the ones that's discriminating against. Ourselves. Ourselves. I mean, yeah. when you make comments like that, I mean, that justifies people being racist towards us, you know? So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, Deion, what do you think about people that try to put themselves out there and try to put other black black women down? Um, to, to me, that doesn't – and I hope they don't think that makes them move forward in life because they put another black person down. You're not going nowhere by putting another black person down. Mm-hmm. They don't look yeah. at you like you ignorant. You dissing your own people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I'm, it's almost about how, uh, okay, here's the, I'm trying to find that, that, that article, because I want y'all to listen to this. I mean, you know. <laughs> And I'm thinking I'm pulling it up now. So, this is really unfortunate. But I mean, um, how do you how do you feel about the whole light skin versus dark skin part? Do you think it's, it's ridiculous? That is definitely ridiculous. You still black no matter what color you are. If you white. You feel African American. Yeah. That is, I just, right that is that too. Me. That is mm-hmm. that's crazy. Mhm. It's just it, it it it's crazy the views and it goes back to like where do people come up with these stereotypes and the things that they have and we wonder why our kids are so self conscious nowadays. Or why they have a hard time fitting in. It's like it's the things that they see, the things that they're hearing, it's like crazy. Exactly. Is this a uh, comment? And I obviously am ignorant on this, but is there is that a point of view that's held by people? from Africa, because, uh, you know, there was reference that she might be of African descent or African herself, 
is this a common thing or is this just one outlandish weirdo? I don't, it could be just, I don't think they're all like that, but there are very, there are a lot of Africans. There's a lot of them. In America. They do. Yeah, they do. Because, and I, mean, and, and, and I hate to say this, you know, yeah. and I, it's, it's a cold, hard reality. Yeah. I went you know, to a I don't seminar. know why they feel that way, but it's just, it just, it's, it's just like that. They feel as if, when I was in college, we had this conversation, and a lot of them feel like we have, as far as America-wise, they feel like we have, who we are as people, they feel like here in America, we, we're not who we truly are. So when you have those from a like uh, African descent that comes over that are, you know, maybe born and raised over in Africa and they come over to America, they see us as if, like, we're not true, um, we're not true African, African Americans. They prefer that we call ourselves um, Americans because to them they feel like we don't hold up our true beliefs as African Americans. So they look down on us on that. And like, oh, yeah, because we early, haven't... Um, out and food right. Like now, they feel that's as if because of cultural issues, or is that because of religion? A lot of, of it has to do with religion. culture issues. Some, a lot of it has to do with culture issues. It has a lot to do with both. Just they feel like coming to America, they just feel like we've been. Um, a lot of some of them portray us as selfish. Um, that oh, we're I, just ooh. like spoiled. Because they feel like in Africa they had to work hard to get to where they are. And they feel like well, us being over here that it's like things are given unto us. So they don't feel like we've worked hard enough or we've learned enough about our own culture to stand up my, to say, my, that, yes, we are African Americans. And it's crazy. And they will look at you. But my thing is you. how they going to sit there and say that. And they come over here a lot. They're always looking for handouts. And they try to manipulate the system, too. So. In essence, if you're going to go by their argument, then none of them are any better because they come over here, they sell these old braiding hair shops where they they braiding your hair and they messing your hair up. I'm not going to go into that. They come over and here. And you're right. And you're right. And they're and they charging all this money and they're not claiming that on their taxes. And they try to go get, they try to get benefits and they try to get welfare, food, stamps, section 8, acting like they're unemployed, but they're making hundreds of dollars per head that they're braiding up. So how you see yeah, it? You're right. Yeah, you're they're, right. They're, and they're very, and I see it a lot, just working where I work at, at a hospital and just seeing, they can be some, they can be very nasty to you. Very rude. Very, now, I mean, you know, very rude and very another, nasty. To you. Another silly question I may have, but is this held among the black African women or is this the same for men or is this like a It's a the same for men. A lot of them look down on they, they all do. They all Well, do. hold on. I can't say that because coming yeah, from a female different. perspective, it's different. Mm -hmm. uh, African yeah. women are a lot harsher towards America. Like, they're a lot more harsher towards women. And, right. and I think it's because uh, now the men, I think they're just your typical guy. Like, they will speak to you. They will try and talk mm -hmm. to you. They will. They're very open. They don't look at you like any differently. The women, the women are a lot more harsher. Like I said, they they're like I can't say evil, but they have a lot more to say, mm. or they they really you know they really hold firm to their mm. beliefs. At so the end of the day, like, the thing is they're jealous of American black women. That's what that is. Now is that coming have, from? A, we can't help it from where we came from. We can't help that we were born in America. Are black women in Africa, are women looked down upon in society? Kind of like, you know, some religious cultures have, where women are basically forced almost women to be inferior. Is it like that over there? To tell you the truth, I don't know. But I don't, I wouldn't. I know, I know they do go through a lot of, um, they, they go through a lot over there. And the women are subjugated to a lot of things over there. But so I, I, want I don't to think there's no, it's too much more different than some of the things. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know because I've never been there. But, but black women deal with, are dealing with issues in America, too. 
But you don't see them yeah, going around talking all that mess. Well, and you're right, you and I think it's a thing, but it's a, I think it's a, because women in general, even American women, just, they, they, women in general, they have that, I think it's just that, I don't, I can't say mindset, but even, it don't even have to be African men, uh, women, it could be anybody, like females just have that perception or that thing, and if you look at them the wrong way, or they feel like you're looking at them the wrong way, or you're being smart with them, their first instinct is to say something like, oh, who she's looking at, or all oh, this, all oh, that. So I can't really say it's just how it's how we're portrayed by African women. I can't really say that. I think it's just right. more so women in general. Now, some of the things that they go through over there, as far as how they're looked upon, I really can't say, but I don't think it would maybe be too much more different than what it is that we made deal with, but I feel like mm-hmm. we have more of a choice whether we want to leave mm-hmm. our marriage if our husband is cheating on us mm-hmm. or some of the other things that they may tend to deal with that us here in America don't. And that that was one right. of the things that was brought up. Like some uh, of the uh, things that was that my curiosity. If that was one of the factors playing a role in this or, or not. 